Uwe Trenkner. You are from Trenkner Consulting in Brussels and you are just holding a speech on automation and smart homes on a solar thermal conference. Why that? Well, there's a big trend now to, to smart home and uh, things that help you with, with comfort, with convenience, also with, with energy in the household. And I think this is a quite interesting trend also for, for the heating sector. You mentioned big companies which are entering this market, like Google and others. What are they searching there? Well, they come from, from, from different backgrounds. So we have energy utilities that are trying to sell to customers, sometimes to help them reduce their energy demand. Uh, we have device companies that are bringing alarm systems, uh, electronic doorknobs that you can remotely control, and also heating devices into, into the smart home. Uh, we have uh, companies that are specialized in, in monitoring energy demand in the building, analyzing them, sometimes warning people or giving advice on, on how you could reduce electricity demand or shift it to, to off uh, times when, when there's uh, too much uh, traffic already in the, in the grid. Um, and yes, there are big IT companies like, like Apple, like Google or now Alphabet um, that are in this market as well. Actually, do they want to spy us out or do they want to save energy or what do they want? Well, I think the, uh, the thing is that, that more and more people want to sit down and, for example, through their smartphone control, the TV, the music, the heating system. They want, don't want to get up to, to answer the door when someone uh, bells on, at the door. Um, so this is something where it just makes sense to, to bring everything together. And of course, for, for a company like Google, it might also be interesting to, to get more and more data about us. So that means this remote controller has a lot of information about the heating demand, my showering activities, when my washing machine is working. Will this help uh, the boiler to con be controlled, maybe to save energy, or even to control a he solar heating system at the end? I think there are different steps. There's, uh, first of all, we can monitor and we can see whether there's um, normal behavior. For example, also with a the solar thermal system, does it give as much energy as we would expect under certain weather conditions? So that would already be interesting so that you can actually help uh, repair something if, if something breaks down. Uh, we can also go and, and try to, um, for example, shift the demand a little bit. For example, with, uh, with a solar thermal system, you could think that at, at noon, before the, the solar thermal system goes into stagnation, you're still trying to use a lot of uh, hot water. Maybe you could use hot water for dishwashing or for uh, washing your clothes and have it automatically switched on these machines uh, once uh, the, the tank is almost full with, with heat. So what actually has a boiler to do to communicate with a smart uh, meter in the house? Well, the most important thing at the moment is, that first of all, that there are network, that there's some kind of network connection that can be a classical one with an with a, uh, Ethernet connection. But nowadays, most of them have something uh, which is either Wi-Fi or uh, the new Bluetooth LE, low, low energy uh, standard, that is more and more used for smartphones also, and that uses very little amounts of energy, just not not draining the battery, either of the, of the sensor or of the actuator uh, or of your, your handset. And um, yeah, then, then you can uh, connect that sometimes to a hub, to a smart home hub in your house, which, which functions as a, as a central device to connect all the different things, or you speak to it directly, depending on, on what device it is. So do you see that the industry is reacting, the boiler or solar thermal industry on that trend? I think that uh, interesting th things in the market that are happening. For example, one, one of the big boiler manufacturers has uh, recently announced a, a system with which they help installer companies, larger installer companies, that they can remotely monitor the systems of, the, of their uh, clients. So when the client calls and says, there's a problem with my heating system, they can remotely already check the, the data. They get information on what could be the probable cause of the thing, uh, which spare parts are need, and what the, the duration of the repair probably would be. And, and this all without uh, having a site visit. This was all possible only by the remote analysis. Exactly. By, by collecting enough data points, different, you can already infer what, what might be the cause of, of this problem and what, what do I need to repair and how long will it take. So this is something that the, that the professionals are looking into. But of course we can see a lot of things or could think of a lot of things that are also interested for just the normal consumer. Okay. Thank you very much. Interesting trends. Thank you.